I woke up one morning and went through my emails and there was this random email from a lady called Maggie saying, Mari, how are you? I hope this finds you well. I've just seen a YouTube video of your choir singing Milo's Locus Este. Would you like to bring them to Carnegie Hall? And I went, yeah, right, and deleted it. But I thought, <laughs> I thought it was like a Nigerian offering me a million dollars. I was so terrified that this was some sort of shonky deal. It was only when I spoke to them in New York and they confirmed that actually this was the real thing. It was at the end of the year, all the chamber choir people were at a restaurant for a dinner and then Miss stood up and she's like, okay guys, I've got, got a surprise for you and she gave us all an envelope. She's like, you can't open it until everybody's got one and then she's like, all right, open it and we all read it and then <laughs> Literally at the same time, everyone was like, <gasps> I opened the envelope, and for some of these kids, it, it really it took 20, 30 seconds for the idea to actually form in their minds that this was real. <laughs> so, for our children who are not trained for the most part, um, who actually, quite a few of them don't even learn music as a subject or an instrument. Um, they just have a talent and a, a passion for singing. Um, this is going to be a really, really big challenge. This is the Olympics of choral singing. What does going to Carnegie Hall mean to me? Um, it's amazing, it's just, I feel very privileged, like, because not many people in the world get this opportunity, and just to go to a hall where so many countless famous people have been throughout the years, yeah, I feel very blessed, I'm excited, I, it, I don't think it's hit me yet, like, it still hasn't registered in my brain, but I think when I go there and I see the hall and I see Paul and we sing the music, it'll, yeah, it's a bit, I don't think I'll ever forget that experience in my life. Thank you.